In our last video, we studied that plants have two types of tissues. Can you name them for me? What are they called? Dividing tissues and non-dividing tissues, right? Absolutely correct. Now let us look at the technical terms for these tissues. In this lesson, we will look at the former type of tissues. The dividing tissues in plants are known as the meristematic tissues. Where does the word meristematic come from? It comes from the Greek word meristos, meaning divided. Well, the main function of this tissue is to divide and help the plant grow. So where do you think you will find this tissue? Exactly! They are at all the places where the plant's parts show growth. And as we just studied, all the parts of the plant do not show growth. Growth is restricted to only certain parts of the plants. What's interesting is that meristematic tissues is named differently based on the part where it is found. And do you know how many such parts of plants have meristematic tissues? Three different parts. That's correct. Three different parts have meristematic tissues. The meristematic tissues in each of these parts has different names. Let us look at the three main types of meristematic tissues. The first is the apical meristem. The second is the lateral meristem. And the third is the intercalary meristem. Do not be let down by these difficult names. Let me make them easy for you to understand. Apical meristem tissues are found in the growing tips of the stems and the roots. This tissue divides and helps increase the length of the plant. What about the second one? Lateral meristem? Do you know where it is found in the plant body? The word lateral means side to side and this means the girth of the plant. The lateral meristematic tissue divides and increases the girth of the plant. Apical increases the length and lateral increases the girth. This girth of the plant is also known as the cambium of the plant. What about the last tissue type? Intercalary? Where is this tissue found? This tissue is found at the base of the leaves or the internodes. These spaces here are known as the nodes. What do you think this tissue will do? They will facilitate the growth of the twigs into branches. As these tissues are very active, the cells in these tissues are filled with cytoplasm. They require a lot of energy and nutrition to carry out the various functions of the tissues. But do you know something interesting? At the initial stages, these tissues are not differentiated into any specific types. Once they divide and mature after completing the growth of the plant, their characteristics change. Then they are differentiated into components of a single tissue. Division of labor takes place only after maturity. Until then, all the meristematic tissues exhibit the same function of simple growth of the plant. If these are the characteristics of the dividing tissues, what about the non-dividing tissues? Let us study them in our next lesson.